Luke and Nate here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today we might have bitten off more than we can chew. Uh, we decided we wanted to do a little winter survival camping and so we drove three hours into the Blue Ridge Mountains and uh, turns out the weather forecast is completely messed up. My phone says that right now it's 40 degrees. It's not 40 degrees, it's 24 degrees. So we are significantly colder than we expected. We'll see what happens. You ready, Nate? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, try to get your leg up over there. <laughs> well, in a couple of weeks, me and Nathan are going up to Alaska to do some survival camping videos over Christmas. So I'm glad we're getting a little bit of winter camping practice before that. You getting too hot, buddy? Yeah, we don't want you sweating. Yeah, you get sweaty in the winter time, and then once you stop, you're wet and cold. I bet you totally could. Yeah, there's like a there's like a cave here. Man, that wouldn't be a bad place to build a shelter, except for it's muddy and wet down there. You want to climb on top? See what we can see? <laughs> okay. oh. One thing, brush the snow off your pants because that snow is going to melt and get your pants wet. You know, it's actually starting to snow again. We might get some more snow. Look at this place. Yeah, that is the longest icicle. Look at that. Look at that big icicle you got. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, look at that path. Yeah? Oh, Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at look at you would fit in that? Oh, dad can't fit. Dad's too fat. Daddy, that's not the way. Oh, this is the <laughs> oh, look at that. Hey, you can hold on to these roots. Now, careful, there's a lot of cliffs here. So, if you go slow, Nathan. Oh. I can walk on these and get up. Let's go back down before we get lost. <laughs> yeah, we gotta. We gotta climb down this thing. Wait for me because I'm just like <sighs> Is this cool or what? Just be careful, remember, those spots are too small. I can't get down there to help you if something bad happens. Let's get away from this spot. There's a big rock right here. <laughs> there you are. You know, it's actually a bit warmer in some of these tight spots. Oh, look at this one. Look at this. This is just cool. 
I think this is one of the neatest places we've ever hiked, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I think even Daddy can fit this one. Oh, there's a little Nathan spot. Look at that. <laughs> you got your head? Oh. Oh yeah. We have a video. I can go down this one too. Yeah. What do you think, Nathan? Should we try to do a camping here? This looks pretty good. Oh, look at this spot, Nate. You can walk in, I'll walk around. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh. Hey, Nathan, come back here. I found the biggest icicle ever. Do you want me to try to pick this one for you? Oh, ah! It's an ice club. You can club a baby seal with that thing. Whoa! <laughs> Your glove's getting wet, buddy. Yes, we have. There's our backpacks. They're still safe and sound. We'll have to see if there's even any left. This way, this way, Can you go that way? Yeah. Here, I'll come with you. Hey, get down in there and lay down and see if it's flat and comfortable. It's pretty soft but dry. First things first, um, I think we need to get a bunch of firewood. We want to have a fire to keep us warm all night. It takes a lot of wood and we need big wood too. Come here, Nathan, I need to see you. Okay. I'm going to put my tracker on you, okay? Oh, you can track me? Yeah, but listen, I want you to stay always where you can see me, okay? Let's get some firewood. <sighs> Why did you bring rope? Yeah, I brought it for the tarp in case we needed it. Okay, well, I can just pull that out. I just took the sheathing off this. Hey, Nathan. Look at that lower lip. Oh, that is the lip of a cold camper. Well, having the rocks like they are makes it really nice for keeping you out of the smoke. The wind either blows that direction or it blows that direction. And so I'm never in the smoke. But there is a little bit of a breeze coming in around that corner. And uh, if we can get rid of that breeze, it's going to warm up really good in this little crevice. So I've got a tarp that I'm going to try to string over that opening. Well, 
Well, this tarp has blocked the wind really good. And now that fire's heat is really getting trapped in this space between the rocks. It's, it's warming up pretty nice. You feeling better, bud? Yeah. Oh, it's a lot warmer in here, isn't it? Water dripping off the top of the rocks from the ice melting up there. All right. Nathan had a little accident. He slipped on the ice and cut his hand a little bit. Put your hand out like that. Oh. Now let's go warm it up by the fire, okay? You feeling better, bud? Yeah. Yeah, that was scary, wasn't it? I tend to not carry first aid kits because anything you can fix with a first aid kit isn't that serious, frankly. But uh, since camping with Nathan and the other boys, I've realized that they really like having a first aid kit. And if you don't have it and they get hurt, they really wonder what kind of wacko they've gone camping with. You're glad I had the first aid kit, right? Yeah. Dad, you know the minute ago I, I pull a couple on. There you go. Okay, this is about as cozy of a survival shelter as I've ever had, but there is a little bit of a problem here. We're getting dripping. This is going up here and melting all of that ice. And it's coming down here and it's running here. And then it is dripping onto my sleeping bag. It's dripping right about there. It's dripping right about there. It's dripping right about there. I'm hoping that in a couple of hours it might dry up a little bit and we might get rid of this problem. But in the meantime, I better move my sleeping bag or it's going to get wet. Here, come sit down. Well, I really enjoy doing these winter campouts with Nathan. We had a ball last year, didn't we? Yeah. This last winter, we, we dug a snow cave in the Rocky Mountains. We did camping with just uh, a lean-to and some animal pelts in six degree weather in Alaska last winter. So we've, we've had some fun adventures and we're gonna, we've got some pretty cool stuff planned this, this winter too. It's easy for the spoon. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Woohoo, there's one foot. She's right, right there. Okay. Oh, sorry, you got attacked by the GoPro. And you got your Desiree pillow. I don't think they call it hot. Uh, Kit Kat. Kit Kat dessert. Well, guys, we got kind of lucky. The fire's melted when it's going to melt, and uh, the dripping stopped. So I don't think we have to worry about getting wet in the night from cave drips. Sun is set, and it's only 5.30. Do you want to sit and uh, watch a little movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. I don't know how many times we've watched this on Cam Bounds. <laughs> how, how many hand warmers do you want? Nathan here is in a 15 degree bag and the high today was 25. So it's going to get cold tonight when this fire goes out. So. We are going to load him up. Okay, let's get you all zipped up. You want me to close up your sleeping bag? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if you get cold, you let me know. I'll throw more hand warmers in there, okay? Nathan's snoring away and the fire stoked up. Uh, I'm going to just kind of play it by ear and see whether or not I let it burn all night or not. Um, I think I'll be warm with or without it, but it is sure comfy having this fire. The downside is I don't sleep as well when I sleep next to a fire because you're always worried about the fire, you know, a spark flying on you and burning a hole in your bag or something, you know, so it kind of, it's kind of stresses me out sometimes trying to sleep at night with the fire, but, uh, we'll just see what happens. It's about four in the morning and I'm hearing some weird noises outside. Sounds like either a tree fell down or there's like a bear wandering around out there. <laughs> but uh, I just stoke up the fire and we'll see what happens. Well, good morning. It is 7 a.m. and the sun is just beginning to rise. 
And we got a little guy here who's had a good night's sleep. You sleep well, Nathan? Yeah. The fire pretty much was on all night long and we still have quite a bit left. So how about we stoke up the fire and get it really warm in here? You want that? Yeah. There we go, we got some apple chicken breakfast sausages here. Gonna cook these over the fire. Ah, there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There's the handle for your for your sausage. Mm. It got cold last night, even inside the cave. There's ice in my water bottle. Whew. Well, I'm packing everything up and I'm getting the fire roaring so that Nathan can uh, get out of his sleeping bag and get dressed in some relative comfort. That's dad duty right there. Get his clothes warmed up here. All right, we're all packed up. We just need to get that fire and kind of return things back to the way they were as best we can. Well, we got everything picked up and put back. Shall we go home, Nate? I think these trees are so cool. Look at this. Okay, I think. Oh, this place is so easy to get lost in. Alrighty. Over here to the left. I got a little That's super boost. Nathan, did you have fun? Yeah! That was the first time I've ever slept in a cave like an outlaw. But I hope you guys enjoyed this short little camping and adventure video. We do lots of these sort of campouts. And check out our camping and adventure playlist with all of our videos. And stay tuned and don't forget to click subscribe because we have got some awesome winter survival camping videos coming up. And I'll see you guys next Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.